Oh my god. Hello. Welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion, I'm Auntie Chan. I'm Darby. And I'm Alexis P. Bevels. Today the P stands for please welcome our very special guest, Denali! Oh, oh my god, my did you come goodness. from the computer? I sure did. Oh my from the screen into the from the screen into the mean scene of IMHO. I Ooh. am truly <laughs> Hopeless. We I'm, are so happy you're so here. Happy you're here so, so, so that you can explain why you are. So the star I can explain of our why I brought you into the Chicago Drag Race. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. no you it did, did such did. an incredible. Up, you it. did such an incredible job. There truly couldn't have been better Cookie Monster representation in the video. I and told I'm you, so, girl. Cookie I'm Monster, so right? Grateful. We're just so excited that you're here because mm. we talk about you mm. a lot, mm -hmm. and some people say too much. And then I say, "Well, have you seen the episode? Who else am I supposed to talk about?" I keep hearing you move this notebook no, around. Not if you El keep Cid. that up, you're getting popped. Technically, that is El Cid. Uh, we do not have the rights for Elsa, so that is <laughs> El Cid. <laughs> El Cid, you know but El Cid is a really good yeah, restaurant no, no, no. in, in Logan <laughs> Square. Right. He's not nice. You have been doing a season, you're becoming internationally mm. famous oh. while at home. <gasps> what has been the most exciting thing since you've become world famous? What's the most fun? I think- And why is it Instagram Live? <laughs> right. I think the most exciting thing, actually speaking of Instagram Lives, has been the content creation. I've really been proud of the content that I've been putting out and I've been really excited about the processes around it. Mm -hmm. Those have been some, creating some of my Processes. favorite memories. Mm -hmm. Like truly the CDE video was probably my most prized thing that will come out of this. It was 100% pure love. It was 100% pure love, you know? Yeah. I don't know, just the memories that were made in creating those, I think that was the best part for well, sure. Well, mm -hmm. I have to give you props, and I do it every week, but I'm gonna do it to your face mm -hmm. and your nails now. Mm -hmm. You have truly come back from this and you have spread this love amongst the Chicago community mm -hmm. from which you came from. Mm -hmm. Today, at Day of Filming, you just released your Queer Eye Fab Five with a bunch of Chicago kings. <gasps> So incredible. Mm -hmm. And I've been checking the Instagram. A lot of the five fab fab five have been commenting. They and did. Uh, Is that so I saw cool? Bobby all up in there, Anthony all up in there, Jonathan all up in there. Yeah, I was really grateful and You made yeah. Carson Cressley so excited to be a judge. Like <laughs> this episode I never seen Carson did I? so like oh, people remember me. Oh <laughs> yeah. I was also in the fab with the five. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you you do relay a lot of that. You you bring the the food mm. back to the mm. To yeah. the village. I, I love that. My drag came from Chicago drag, so it only made sense that when I was given a platform that I gave back. That's it. Period. Well, that is very sweet, and That's it means a lot you. because, you know, like, of course, Shay and Kim, mm. we did see a lot of that homage to Chicago. I will say, Silky has yet to say a word about any of us, and <laughs> I've asked to be in her music videos, and oh. she said I wasn't ready. <gasps> You know what? I haven't heard her you say Venice Pizza yet, too. That's so it's not just you. Yeah. Now, I do have a list of questions I've been compiling since the announcement of your season. Demon. And this one comes, this is one of the first ones. So, the Fab Five, mm -hmm. will you tell us who... You didn't click on anything. No, 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 you but I, I have them. I, I went through like the I three saw. different home screens. It's a lot. Balls it's a lot. Balls and ass. So, come, besides come, the Fab Five, do you feel comfortable telling us and our viewers who else of note has reached out and said they love you? Because I'm oh, sure it's been a lot goodness. of people. I saw the Pussycat Dolls were tweeted. Yeah. The Pussycat video. Dolls was a big deal. That was like right from the get-go. I was not expecting that. And especially because I wasn't expecting all of them. At first I was yeah. like, maybe all, Ashley, all Nicole, really? Connie. I wasn't expecting Nicole. That was a gag. Yeah, and she on Twitter was like, yes, queen. Yeah. She, she and that's yeah. when I was like, oh my God. Have you ever heard her sing Memory from Cats? No, it's oh, good. It's so good that no. Andrew Lloyd Webber said it is the best rendition of Cats no. ever. Phantom of the Opera, have you seen that no. one? Have I seen Phantom? She sings, she yes, sings, she sings, she sings, sings the, Phantom of oh, the Opera. Christine, okay. does she? I thought you just yeah. meant in general, yeah. well, have I seen it? Well, have I said, you slept yes, through it? Yes, it does fall through. The chandelier. Speaking of. You've been to all of Don't turn me on. chandeliers. Oh, yes. Remember, I get a boner whenever we talk about Electrical Lamps. lighting Balls. equipment. There's something about it that it just, I really want to stick my penis in them. I love okay. socket. Not hey, to move that's away a, from that topic, yeah. but absolutely to move away from it. Or should we lean it. into it? Well, no, I no, lean away. Chandeliers with flashlights, why not? Like, this that is, could be this a new merch. The, these, <laughs> Elsa, <laughs> Elsa, well, why, well, you why don't you Elsa, since you want to lean in all the time. <laughs> why don't you scoot in? Joshua Ponte. Mm. 
Mm. Dream. Mm. A dream. Ah. Had you worked with them sueño. before before you got on the show? Or I was hadn't. This... I'd okay. always dreamt of it. And he's, you know, I, I feel like every girl kind of has their pocket of like dream designers or wig stylists or stuff if it were to ever happen. Oh, and Josh he was top of the list. Yeah. And he yeah. was in like that archive Same. of like, like I had a notes app that was like, oh, it'd be so cool if I was like, you know, Monique or Josh Juan or Jay for um, Pay. Jay for pay. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I had a few things from Jay already, so I was like in it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. but, oh, I'm so sorry. Wow. But, you know, you have those kind of like yeah. peoples. And Josh Warren was definitely like number one. Yeah. In 2021, y'all know that drag queens have teens. And like yeah. the idea is well, yeah. I knew that like my friends could like come up with some really cool stuff. So I was like, let's and all I collaborate. Imagine you, you don't have a lot of time. You have no. to delegate. Yeah, you have to. If mm -hmm. you can do it all yourself, congrats. Which is why I will give sh a shout out to Miss Utica Queen because she really does do all of it because well, she was really. living I was, in a barn she when so she got talented. the call <laughs> yes and so she had mm -hmm. to do it herself mm -hmm. well i was i was thinking about that a lot of her stuff is patchwork mm -hmm. i mean it's maybe i'll get really to ask cool. her something mm -hmm. like, in my living room we like put up sticky notes of every possible idea and yeah. option you should have seen the yellow one because yellow so broad right mm -hmm. so we were like yellow and then oh, it was just like my goodness. it was yellow. just like, like nine mustard, or mustard. cab driver yeah. <laughs> yeah. cab driver right. put uh put uh, a cab driver cab driver lights on my tits oh you came out you did the britney thing no did a lap and you know whose idea that was Oh, hey! the creative director of Chicago. We were mulling Abhishek. through a lot of ideas, and I don't even remember what it was exactly. But Avi was like, "What if you were now Bino Python?" And then came up with like the silhouette idea, and I was like, "We, yeah, that's, that's Chicago." Yeah. Now, so you put post-it notes all over your wall, so you don't expect to get your deposit back. You're not worried about that? I mean, post-it notes, it didn't really. She um, didn't use nail glue. It didn't really peel post off it. the paint in my oh, place. It might in okay. yours, but. Ah! I you know, this is a new establishment. Oh, how do you know? Different demographic. That this building is very cheaply made and gentrified. I put a lot of yeah. nails in this wall. Wait, hold on. There's yeah, a lot no, of there's, mounted there's, things in here. Yeah, there mounted. are some press-ons on that wall over mounted. there. Mounted. Okay. So we're going to talk about <laughs> Snatch Game. Yeah. Okay. Because it was, I don't know if you saw the episode, mm -hmm. but it was the episode that just catch aired. It. Yes. And we cannot wait to talk to you about it. If we get to... Sorry, it's not. If you get too up. far, if emotional. we get if we get too far emotionally, mm, yeah. or we say something that like perhaps you can't speak on. Yeah, should we have like a safe word? Bravo, 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 bravo. bravo. Like, I love that. Yeah. Like cruise ships, I'm triggered. I yeah. love Did that was was that your was that your? That no, we had drills every week, and we had to do. There was Bravo, there was Charlie, there was Alpha, and they oh. all represented a different thing. Fire, oh, no. I think fires bravo, are bravo, bravo. fires are Alpha. Somebody overboard is Oscar. Oh my goodness. Um, <gasps> bravo is who jumped. I don't know what Bravo it, that's, is. That happens. Well, that's because in Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, if, mm. if they didn't want a, something to be aired, she would say Bravo, Bravo, Denise Bravo. Richards. But they they did her dirty, and then <gasps> and they aired it anyway. And so that's how that? we got Bravo, Bravo, Bravo. Okay, yeah. well that yeah, it is a ship term, and it means emergency, so it's perfect. So I can okay, great, emergency. Great, great. We can't talk about it. Background story, okay. I don't know. I mean, you shared this on the show, too. Yeah. You were an ice skater before the show. You were also mm. working on cruise, Cirque du Soleil. I, uh, you did Crash Landing. <laughs> wow. Um, right on par with Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> <laughs> Crash Landing. Crazy. No, I've lived, like, eight or nine different lives. Yeah. And I'm an Aries that gets really bored of things within two to three years. There and then go. changes everything and just, like, goes... What's, your, what's your next thing going to be? I don't know. Camp on a kiki. Camp on a kunka. Yeah, of course. That's gonna be amazing. Camp Kini Camp Kini Kwan. I hope you can okay. make it on. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. You're, I'm not trying to put you down. Don't take it personally. Like no, 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 I'm not. It's a restaurant. Your, That's the no, your oh, padded ass. ass. Uh -huh. Your padded ass is by your mother. By the one and only <gasps> Camille Fox. Yes. And boy uh, nails, of course. Oh, yes, yes, the I body. am wearing Manny Boy Nails. I mean, which is Camilla's partner. I wish, I wish they had just done a little more. Because yeah. I can barely <laughs> yeah. see yeah. it. Imagine if I was like fully Lady Death Strike all up in here. Yeah, no, it's like, it's incredible. We need to have a nail cam. Nail cam. Sure, let's build that in. We come back and there's no elimination, mm -hmm. which, was that really fun for you? Um, yeah, uh, Are you pissed when there's not an elimination well, the or circle. are you happy? In the moment, I, it was really, I was like, oh my God. In the moment, I felt <laughs> really cool because I was like, oh my God, I love candy. And mm -hmm. I was like, yay, this is also great. But I remember the next day feeling like, how long is this gonna go? Yeah, I was okay. like, mm, a little peeved. But I definitely didn't want to be one of those girls, you know, that comes in the next day and is like, 
no one went home and I'm just like really like I'm in this to win this so here we are again same well, amount is, of girls that is or whatever the talking head they I know of you wasn't it though right wasn't it I was I was it was in yellow and I was like oh the winners are still all here yeah right, yeah right, right, right. so um mini challenge mm -hmm. yeah what was mm. the mini challenge mm -hmm. it was, it was the, the rock and roll yeah I actually oh, really yeah. enjoyed this yeah. one okay because I loved this brew song Come on, let me see you around this town. It's like a punk song. Okay. It's really fun. And I actually really enjoyed listening to it in my hotel room. Well, you have a um, lovely voice. Too. Thank you. Okay. You have a really good scene. Yeah. Oh, oh, let's God. jump back to that. Because we audition. definitely talked about that. No, your audition for the musical, we were all, okay, because uh, I said this. I'm going to say it no. to your face. I'm going to say it to your face. <laughs> to your face. <laughs> because after Rose auditioned, I thought, <laughs> this is not me, mm -hmm. I thought, Oh my God, Denali, shut the fuck up. Like, pull out. You can't do this. And, and then I, you did it, and I was like, oh, wasn't that holy shit. I think no, everyone you was like, oh, you guys are being too nice. No, See, IMHO is biased. We are biased fully, but we're also If you don't believe we're biased, go on Reddit. But we're also we musically inclined, and we know a good voice when we hear a good voice. Aww. You I know, mean, I was off key in certain places, I will say. No, we definitely but said I, we would have chosen Rosé over you, but we yes. did say <laughs> that it wasn't like a, it wasn't a huge uh -huh. defeat. It was really, we're surprised. I think, I think I should have just been a little more self-aware. I don't have regrets on Drag Race, but I should have been a little more self-aware that after Rosé went, I'm going to be like, you know what? No, I loved uh -huh. it because it's, you it's have it. this is your one you opportunity. Yourself. You got to fight for what you oh, want. Oh, yes. T, 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 T. You got to mm. shake the girls a little bit mm -hmm. too. Yeah. And that was kind of like, okay, wait, no, she really wants it. That part. And now, she's gonna I did. I, it, I did showed my determination, I guess. Deter <laughs> yes. It, the cunt to de charisma, uniqueness, nerve, talent, determination. Cunt to determination. Cunt to determination. So they say. <laughs> 15 minutes to get in a quick mask drive. Uh -huh. Is it really 15 it's minutes? It's really 15 and the, minutes. And to the, there's That's like timers. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, <laughs> what was that? What was that choice? I don't know. Oh. You know, at first I was like, oh, I have this really cool pop punk mullet. Let me not wear it and decide to braid these tights and wrap it around my head as if it's like, you know, oh, when you, you have like to use an the ice, tights. when you have like a headache and you put ice on your head, that's what I look like. A mixture of that and Little Edie. Oh. Uh, I didn't see that. Didn't I look like Little Edie? Edie? Someone said I look like Bad, Bad Bunny, Bunny on Twitter and yeah. I was like, Oy se gata, se gata. <laughs> You know, I was like, what the fuck? That's a really good little I know. Lady. I... <laughs> <laughs> but I do remember loving that challenge because I really liked that song and I sang that song in the shower while I was at Drag Race often. <gasps> just to like, you know, warm up my vocals for the audition. Oh, oh. I'm such a singer. I was like, oh, let me. Yeah. Now I know you had to socially distance, but mm -hmm. what does Rue smell like? Do you know that? I, I can't tell you because again we were very distant from her. Okay. What is your time? I was just her? focusing on like staring at her. I see her Rue as someone who up. is right. Yeah. I see Rue as someone who is just always perfumed. Like always mm. Oh definitely. There's a scent. Yeah. What does Rose smell like? Why you ask? There's something of like again from that first day when I met her in the pork chop lounge. There was just something about her energy I was like really drawn to. Mm. And then as as the competition went on, we happened to be paired a lot. And then every challenge that we did, we just got closer and closer, and it was really nice because she's so fucking talented. She's so talented. Yeah. She and can spin. we love team talent up in here. You know, we There's love always team, team talent. personality, team talent, team look, team all of that. But she's definitely team talent. I think that's why we connect. What about her. team compassion? What about team friendship? What what about team musty What about balls? team <laughs> I'm on that team. Mm. You were okay. bunny. <laughs> but. So Tina, Tina wins a mini challenge. Yeah. So let's just go ahead and move on to the snatch game. People mm. are selecting their characters. Mm. Now, when we prepared for this, mm. I think you and I were sitting in all right, all right, all right. Go ahead. Well, so go ahead. let me tell everybody in the audience and all of the tea of like how snatch game can be prepared or should be prepared. Yes. Okay. So I have this friend. Yeah. And her name's Auntie Chan. Familiar. Heard of I her. met her at Berlin Nightclub uh -huh. in 2018. That was such a good year. I don't remember. Sure. We didn't care about washing our hands back then. <gasps> nope. Bobby wants to fact check. What year was it? 2018? I think it was maybe. 17? It was, I think bad, it was bad Betty's. Yeah. And she was it wearing was, paper was shoulders. 
And she was like, hi, my name is Auntie Raja, right? Cherry yeah. Chan, and I... Auntie Cherry Chan. Auntie Cherry Chan, yeah. and I'm from Houston, Texas, and I was like, oh my god, I lived in Houston, Texas, we connected. I introduced really. myself to people. I'm pretty sure it's Cherry. You said, hometown? Hey, be my cherry. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. You, you really? said you were from Houston, and I was like, I lived in Houston, work bitch. Okay. And I was like, I don't know, there's something about your um, crafty shoulders that I'm really drawn to. <laughs> and then... Um, <laughs> And then we became friends, and friends. you quickly became part of my chosen family. Dare um, I say? I'm gonna cry, Elsa. Oh my god, don't cry. <laughs> you are talented, brilliant, iconic, intelligent, witty, smart, quick, oh um, sexy, musty. It's like I mean, um, it's like you're talking to both of us. Yeah, sexy yeah, really. and musty. Wow. No, no, no. I just knew your talents, and I've seen you perform in the city for so long. So I was like, this bitch is. She's got cool she's ideas. She's lightning. She. On I stage. will say there is nobody that has better ideas. I think in life yeah. than Auntie Chan, especially when curating numbers, when thinking about witty, stupid, idiotic shit. You know. Why saying? do you think the two of us have latched on? The oh, so not the latch. We need the youth. <laughs> <laughs> What is TikTok? Get Shannon here. Oh. <laughs> we had probably like what four or five nights that we dedicated to just snatching. Working games. through those lines uh -huh. for Leslie we Jordan. We said uh, my third choice was Leslie Jordan, my second mm. choice was Tanya Harding, and my first choice was Jonathan Banks. <gasps> yes. And that is something I've already disclosed on yes. live, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. But we worked through kind of all of them. Yeah. But the one that we Sophie focused- Sophie Vergara too a little bit We too, did right? a little bit of Sophie yeah. Vergara. But the one that I felt the most comfortable with was Jonathan because the best advice that I think was Naomi me, Smalls, and Shea Coulee had given me was choose a Snatch Game character adjacent to your personality mm -hmm. because when you are in that environment, it gets crazy and it's a lot of pressure. Mm. So it's easy to just tap into something that you're like, oh, okay, I, this is accessible, right? Yeah. 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 You know, me doing like Jim Carrey would have actually that is also kind of accessible. Yeah. Because he's you, manic for sure. and crazy. Yeah. My personality is like manic, poop -poo pee pee humor. But the, here's the thing yeah. though. Yeah. From what we see on television, we see like this ice competitor that mm. is a performer, mm -hmm. but what they don't get to see is that you're more of like a scoopy doop, pee pee poop. -poo, a scoopity like, doop doop like poop -poo 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 -poo. Like, like my humor is actually a second grader. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's Sometimes in that environment, it's hard to feel like that all the time. Yeah. And I definitely get in competition mode when I'm in competition mode. So I think that that's why maybe that hasn't been as apparent. Yeah. In television. Yeah. It is. It is funny. You're so <laughs> high energy with your humor, and you're so fucking funny. Really? You literally walked in my house and screamed. Like, that's how <laughs> you do scream. No, here's the I thing. Love Anytime screaming. it's someone yeah. screaming I on screaming. Drag Race, I know it's your scream because you're like. <laughs> There's two people I hear all the time in the background when it's something like a soundbite. Yeah. It's Simone's laugh because it's so addicting and gorgeous. Yeah. That works. Uh, and then it's my scream. <laughs> when, when Candy Muse was saved, I was like, Ooh. You hear Denali just Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, ah! But either way, I just I wanted to shout that out. Auntie Chan helped me out incredibly with Snatch Game. We did notes, we did note cards, we did uh, exercises, volleying, improv, yes, uh, no, yes, and or whatever. All that stuff that she helped me with incredible because truly I never like in your head. And it was in my that. head. Yeah. And then when I went there, I had a notes, all the notes that we had written out, all of those crazy lines that I said, the yeah. things like the, the Benedict. What did I say? I said something. Oh, like, the I said something. Uh, drills you, on uh, hold me in your arms, and then yeah, yeah. also the power drills around the seven. Yeah. Those were lines that we had memorized just to have quick quibs and things that he had already said. So, so it smart. helped me out so tremendously. Here's the thing. And I will say a huge part of my success in being in the top was because of you. <gasps> That's truly all I will say. May so, I say this? Thank you. The brilliance was always there. Oh. It is my Sending job the as whole a time. friend. It is my job and everyone's job as a friend to pull the best out of oh, your friends. Oh, I love you. Or, I love you. Or to bully your friend until she screams about cum. Oh my god. There, you, there's two yeah. types this, of friends. This dichotomy. <laughs> there's two types of friends. There's health and there's toxicity. There's yeah. The people who excelled, mm. it was very clear that there was some history there. There was mm. some, they did some work. Yeah. It was very clear. So you think did about work. the top. We Simone had did work. Oh, Obviously, so Gottmik was pulling from this catalog. <gasps> and again, adjacent to your personality. There you go. Could you think LA. of anyone yeah. better? This then was Paris Hilton. And I'm not saying this because you're here. This was one of my favorite Snatch games in a few years. Yeah. It was uh, overall. And as a solid. viewer, I was, was like, solid. this is a It was a really good game. It was it was overwhelmingly yeah. more people doing well than yeah. poorly, which I 
It was refreshing. It was yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. And it was enjoyable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was good. Yeah. Very enjoyable. So let's yes. get into it. Let's chat about oh. it. So excited to see Tabitha Brown representation mm. because mm -hmm. I think Tabitha is a goddamn gift. Have you made her carrot bacon? No. I actually didn't. You don't know. I, I don't know about her. I don't know who she is either. I didn't know about her before the episode. I didn't either. Follow her on Instagram. You she, know really niche people. She's yeah. well. She's just this sweet mom who's just so. She's a vegan and yeah. she's so excited to. Abby, you know Tabitha. You did you, did Tabitha you know Brown? Tabitha Brown before the, the episode? No, I didn't. Okay, okay. Well, I did. But she so she, did. she tells you how to like make weird vegan stuff, and then while she's doing it, she's like, everything will be okay, baby. Don't worry about it. So this carrot tastes like bacon. And then you're like, everything's gonna be okay. Oh, she's amazing. Yeah. Is she like a like high that. energy per personality? She seems no. really chill. See, and that's, no, she, I think she that's talks like she's a very soft important too, and warm. To know. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Well, that, that's that's what they. Use. Well, that's what we saw in the episode. They kind of talked to about Olivia and also about Utica mm. is like, are you sure you want to do like a low energy type person? Mm -hmm. right. I think a low energy can work. And this is again, and I will say as someone who, we have someone here who has been through the pressure of it. It's a very mm. high pressure situation. It's so scary. So this is all coming from someone who has it's never scary. had to do anything like that. But I will say that it, <laughs> She was Elsa. breathing on me. <laughs> like, <laughs> girl, get off me. Oh, oh. We all have our limits though, am I wrong? <laughs> No, you're right. She also really did say that she's gay too. Honestly, Look at this bent wrist. No, let it go. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So. First and foremost, we had Simone as, as Harriet, Harriet Tubman. Tubman. What I liked about her is she kind of gave what I loved about Gigi <clears throat> last season mm -hmm. is RuPaul was like, you sure you want to do that? And she was like, yes. I don't have concerns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I love Simone's energy and I wasn't worried about her, but she did make this really funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's what you just said. It seems like she was kind of adjacent to her personality. Mm. The thing about choosing a historical character, which is so brilliant, there's is no point of there's reference. no point of reference. You yeah. can do whatever yeah. the fuck you want. Yeah. So you can be Simone. That's why yeah. some people I've seen get, you know, uh, Candy has been getting a little bit of fire online for being like, oh, you just did Candy Muse as Patrick Starr. Mm. You know but, what I'm saying? Because we but know- people have a point of reference for Patrick. Because we have a point of reference for yeah. Patrick, I think. Mm. But at the end of the day, it's all about making Rue laugh. And Candy made Rue laugh. Rue yeah. loves this Candy. Yeah, Candy yeah. made Rue laugh, so say what you want. She was safe and whatever. Because <laughs> you know? she looked yeah. great, she brought the laugh. She looked great, I thought she looked just like Patrick. It was great, yeah. I thought it was yeah. funny. Simone was incredible though. She is so quick-witted and so funny and I think the brilliance of her is even in her mistakes, she's still brilliant. Like not knowing Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. Or I mean, Je oh, Jennifer, Jennifer Lewis. Lewis yes. See, like, me. Oh, that, not, like, it, that was really funny when we were there. And we and all just like a, chuckled to ourselves. There's a quiet <laughs> kind of slow confidence mm -hmm. in all of her answers, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like it wasn't that she, it didn't, cause you know sometimes they'll cut to people that you can see their mind Kind of cranking Olivia. of like, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Olivia. Mm -hmm. But but when we cut to Simone, she was like, "I'm Harriet Tubman. I've been dead for 200 years. Let's think about this, you know." And then yeah. she, I'm not good at math. She's really good with physical comedy too. It's kind She's of like so when you funny. see a, a, a coin, when you spin a coin and it like wobbles mm -hmm. into place. Like she loves to do the little. She goes, <laughs> "Are you in on the?" Bob toe? did it. Bob did it. It's the like the like lean and wobble. Yeah. 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 Yes, yeah. Yes, yes, Simone yes. is just an incredible Bold. person, incredible artist, an incredible mind. And I respect her work so much. So who was sitting Paris. by Simone? Wilson. Oh, we did Paris. Simone, right? and then it was Paris. Paris. And then oh, we, Paris. yeah, we were just about we talked to talk a little bit about stars. stars. Okay. Got Mick. Choosing characters adjacent to your personality, brilliant. But Very, also life experience. Got Mick has literally painted Paris Hilton. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. yeah. So, You've got the LA vocal fry down. Mm -hmm. Got Mick mm -hmm. has such a cool like confidence about yeah. comedy, and I do admit when I first saw them first episode first admit impressions it. It. i did not know that they were going to be that funny yeah. but now i yeah. think she's hilarious she is hilarious yeah, she's, she's very, very funny she walked into the workroom and really said fuck all of this in a way of like in the way of like i'm going to come in with this punk rock attitude you might have your rules but i'm really going to just be like whatever about it and that's also where rupaul comes from that world of like yeah. her punk rock band and like gender bending and gender fuckery like there was this attitude of like I don't really care, you know? And that's what makes, I think, her humor so relatable and yeah. fun. Yeah. It's just like, she's literally just having a blast and you can and join she, in. And she's exactly what we expect from someone from LA, for people who have never really like explored LA. We're like, oh, that's so cool. You got a lot of vocal fry. Okay, 
Cool. Right. So you like you you've met Paris Hilton. That's neat. Yeah. I love that she came She's prepared. So smart. Yeah. So smart. So well connected. And people give her shit. Oh, you're just well connected. You're doing well on the show because no, you've talent. got LA connections. That doesn't. What people do not realize is being a drag queen is running a business, and a huge part of having talent in your business okay. is networking. Okay. So if you happen to flex those talents and you were intelligent about it and you broadened your business to a celebrity level, kudos to you, bitch. You are talented. Uh, hello. Right? Yeah, the only people right. I'm doing right. for me are, is you with my hair. And I have to say, <laughs> celebrity level, maybe not, but better than I have had in the past, mm -hmm. maybe not. But you know what? We're friends. Up next is Rosé <gasps> as Mary Real. Queen of Scots. Oh. Mary Queen of Scots. Free another Free another Free instance Free of choosing Free a Free historical Free character. the chance to change your fate. <laughs> <laughs> Brave! Yeah. Brave! You, Brave! <laughs> you should have done her. Don't let, good. Don't let Elsa do I love you. doing She's... impressions and accents. <laughs> and if you don't like it? I can do Auntie Chan really well. I've done her okay. so can many Can you times. really? Yeah. Okay, do oh. you go. You're me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> she got you. See, I she got so you. Well. you. I know, me. I know, Auntie Chan, inside and out. Oh, do you? Inside. Oh my god. This whole video is gonna be the side of my wig. Rose was <laughs> Scottish because she she liked. She was brilliant. Art. She was born in Scotland. This brilliant. Very smart. Brilliant. Again, brilliant. somebody that she's literally studied culturally yes. as part of her life. Yes. And it's funny because it's the almost woman is dead. So... Oh. <laughs> what did you no say? No way, she is? Because the woman is dead. Mary Queen of Scots is dead. This is the death part. Oh. She got her head chopped off. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Spoiler. and Rose put it in a really like sweet <laughs> way that oh she wasn't in a great relationship with the Queen of England mm. or she was a bitch to her, so she was just killed. Which might be the case. Mm. But what I like to think of is that there's this woman, right? And she's like, oh my God, I've done so much with my life. All I've tried to do is bring honor to Scotland, Braveheart. I don't want any, I don't want my life to be a joke. I don't want a man dressed as a woman to make me a joke. And she gets her head chopped off. <gasps> Cut to Snatch Game. Rosé was great. Yeah. It was so good because again, studied, great character, accessible. We don't know what she's saying, mm -mm. but because <laughs> of that, it's funny. Because, I like that yeah. she leaned into that in yeah. some parts. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 that's with the brilliance of it. Yeah. And apparently, other Scottish people that have seen it knew exactly what she was saying. Really? Yeah. Have y'all ever seen Rain? <gasps> no. Rain that CW the... show, Rain, that's about Mary. Oh, really? Not that channel. Yeah. No, thank you. And I it's didn't... one of those Bridgerton types where it's like old timey costumes, but like playing violin to like, mm -hmm. to what? What's a pop? What's a no? Keep going. Song? No. What's ready. a current song right now? Go for it. Rain, rain on me. Put my hand upon your hip when you dip and dip. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You said what is a current song? And then you said. And then did. you did put my hand upon your hip when I did. What I danced to in like sixth grade. Were you frozen in a glacier? <sighs> Rose did incredibly. She did great. And no, she really did. She yeah. really did. She's so smart and she's so talented and I love her. She's yes, really smart, she's yeah. amazing. And then next we went to. Did you hear that, Colton Nolly? You know what? She's got a big, oh my big God, ego. Scottish. We were gonna put ego. this on yes. CBN, oh, an accent. <clears throat> the Christian mm -hmm. Broadcast Network. They're gonna put our sponsorship. <sighs> this, we look like the View. Wait, look at this real quick. We do. I look, look like, like the, the problematic white. Can I get a word in? Can I get a fucking word in now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Barbara Walters with the spirit of Meghan McCain. Ew! I, believe in low I hate taxes. that. I literally I hate like all low tax. When Meghan McCain went into Chun Li mode, <gasps> I know. I just I okay. Live. Well, you're whoopie. You, you know growing. you're whoopie though. I'm whoopie. You're whoopie. You're whoopie. Ew! That makes I'm me whoopie. Megan though. Who am I then? You're the, you're the other one. You're the, you're the celebrity. You're the Monier. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Who was the okay, next who was after Rose? that person? Mm. It was oh, it was Tina Burner. No, it was not. It was um. Wasn't it, it was Tina Burner as Richard Simmons? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Can we stop fighting this? for sorry. one second? I'm sorry. She's like, no. Can you check to see if JB is tearing anything up? I'm so sorry. He was, he was sleeping on the bed. But like, I Does think he? she's like on your mm. stuff. If she tears up something of yours, uh, it was already torn up oh, before you got a, here. Yeah, yeah, it's just an old beauty blender. It's fine. Tina, okay. her performance I thought was actually really great. High energy. Tina's really witty as well and yeah. very quick. She is. Um <gasps> I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh, yeah. You were on TV. But 
I did think it was kind of funny when they did the walk around uh -huh. or the walk to Rue. Mm -hmm. And then Rue was like, yeah, I mean, this, so can you make him funny? Are you funny? And Tina said, yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm pretty funny. Mm. Aren't you like. That was kind of surprising. Are Tina's very, very, but like, she's, she's very like confident in her yeah. comedy. Yeah. 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 Didn't you think that was weird that she was like, I yeah, did. I'm kind of funny. And I, I wasn't in that conversation, but seeing it on TV, I was kind of surprised because I was like, that's not usually like Well, they Tina. did cut to Candy, who was like, she second she guesses herself her a lot. She gets oh. in her head, get out of your head. Yeah. But I was oh, like, wait, don't you story. literally hold a title that is like comedy But she talked about that, and then she was like, yeah. I yeah. am comedy yeah. queen, this is yeah. that, so. Okay, okay when you saw Tina, were you like, hi. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, no, 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 and then I went, you're, you're big. big. Yeah. You're big. Does she know that that's about her? Like, does she I don't know that think we're so. Fun? Tina has, uh, has, I think she's just finished learning how to use Instagram, so I don't really know if she knows. <laughs> Uh, I am a show or anything. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, well, don't don't put a don't put us on her radar. Just gotta, just gotta, just gotta, just gotta. Come scared. on, no, she's she's a she's, she's a, how this bitch is leaving. Bitch, get the fuck out of my business. That's what in this I'm conversation. saying. Quien quiere que tú se quieres? ¿Qué quieres? Quieres más? Quieres más? Quieres más? Puta. Tu madre, pinche güey, cabrona. I don't care what people say. Okay, pinche güey. Beating up Elsa. Tina's brilliant. Tina and I got ready um, next to each other. Our workstations were next to each other. And I actually really enjoyed Tina on set. She was very lighthearted. Yeah. She was really she fun. And she really made the stressful situations feel a lot less stressful. That's there was very, just something. That's there very is, dad energy. There is the dad energy that, that she brought to it, even though we joke about it. There was this like, we're okay, guys. Don't worry. Kind of a thing <laughs> that really did make it feel like, yeah, you're right, Tina. You do love it. You know, it's really sweet. I do. I loved it. I can do <laughs> every queen. Um, I can do every fucking queen. Utica is, um, I love Jesus. I just really love Jesus and I love creating things. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be here. My neighbors on the other side are all gay guys. And mm. I feel like every time you scream, they're like, Denali? Denali scream? Oh, no, is no, no. Denali? You know what's crazy? Our upstairs neighbors are homosexuals. One time, Donut ran out of our door because we left it open. We were really high. We were not paying attention. And Alex was like, where's the dog? And I was like, oh, oh my God. And we like ran outside. And as we ran out of the door, our upstairs neighbors are descending down the stairs with her just like prostrated in their arms like this. She thinks she's all bad. And she was just like, mm, like this. And he's like, um, here's your dog. Oh my God. So sorry about that. Also, um, congratulations on being on the show. Oh. And it was so sweet. And my first challenge win, they, um, were upstairs and they were like banging on the floor mm. because oh, they were watching the it. Oh, they were yeah. watching it with us. It was the Britney Spears one. And they were like, are they single? So sweet. They are not. I think that they are. No, they are a couple. Okay, so rich. let's go move on to yeah. the next or the first row. The so front candy. Row. So it's Miss Candy Music. That's Patrick, Patrick Star. Star. Candy Music. One town. side. She looked gorgeous. She was playing she herself. She did look gorgeous. She, but herself is funny, but and she had she had jokes. Yeah. Can you give Patrick Star like what? What are his? You know, I I I don't know. I no don't idea. really watch. I'm honey. very young. Honey. 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 That's it. I love makeup YouTubers. I mean, Me obviously my faves are Neon MUA. Yes. Of course, starting mm. from the Stan. beginning. And then I love Jackie Brent Ina and Bailey Sarah. Yeah. And I love um, Mickey tutorials. Well, Nikki tutorials, obviously. Ugh, yeah. love Mickey but I don't tutorials. I don't know a lot about Patrick Starr, but I don't yeah. think I needed to. No, she was funny. It was no. good. It was fine. She made Rue laugh, and that's the point of it all. So I thought that she did really well. Okay. And then up next, who was not up next to her? Olivia Lux. They call me Sandal Olivia, I thought the She's look was so great. Sweet. Yes. After studying yes. Tabitha, I thought the look was so good. I do think that like I, obviously being next to her, I could feel there was like a little bit of like the wheels turning in her head, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So just the delivery, and that's one thing about improv, at least that I knew, because remember you were telling me you were like, doesn't matter what exactly comes out of your mouth, make sure it comes out quick and natural. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that it feels like a regular oh. conversation. Yeah, we're right. And yeah. when she was doing the wheels in her, it was like, I think it was like improv no no 101 or something. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. You, you don't have a degree like she I does. really don't. Yep. I really don't. Yes, and yes, and yes, and. I really don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't do it. Don't do it. But that was what you had told me. And so yeah. even when you were like, even if it feels awkward, and I remember feeling like, I was like, this feels so weird. And you're like, just 
fucking say it. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter. Yeah. That helped me a lot. And Good. I think that that maybe is where she was like struggling a bit. was just like in she her. She holding in the, back. In yeah. the natural. Well, because even if you misspeak, like let's say that you say something that you thought would be funny because mm-hmm. you're just trying to get it out of your mouth. Right. You keep the, I'm only looking you commit at you. To it. I didn't mean to look at <laughs> you. <when I> <laughs> But no, you commit okay. to it so right. that you bought yourself time. Yeah. So that you look so confident in the statement that they're like, oh, okay. Well, if I don't you're wrong, sell that. it that you're and wrong. Precisely. Right. Yeah. Well, one thing I'll say about Olivia's, she is just so joyful to watch. Mm. Even if she didn't hit the lines, I still liked looking at her and I felt the kind of like, I just, I appreciate getting to see her. All the she's fruits. always so joyful. The delicious she fruit that she brought. Yeah. The apples, I, I didn't the banana, need all that extra. Orange. Like, you could just look Tabitha. at her face. That's also Tabitha. That's yeah. the thing that was so frustrating to watch was because I think Olivia is very similar to Tabitha. Yeah. With that joyful, positive, joyful uh-huh. energy. Yeah. It was a smart of, choice. It was yeah. a smart choice, but instead of leaning into it and just kind of playing herself, <clears> she kept talking about apples. For some reason, her mind was really married to the fact that she was this vegan chef. She kept saying vegan, 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 but well, veganism I think isn't. gave her a, like that frame of reference. Yeah, in the and, long and, run. and veganism isn't and isn't uh, particularly hilarious. So I think it was... unless you're Bimini Bambula. Well, yeah, oh, just very funny the way she does. That was her. I have to stop because, vegan, because I'm like, like yes, of course. Watching, okay, I'm well, sorry. she's a vegan. I'll house. take that again, and you can pretend like you know. Okay. Oh my god. Unless you're Bimini Bambula. Oh my period. god. Period. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of period, after Olivia Lux was Miss Denali as John Wait, Van as a period. Wait, oh my god, literally in the same way. Speaking of period, period, that's how you want to introduce Speaking Denali? of no, because, menstruation. No, because Denali. like period. <laughs> Speaking because of she shut it down. Oh. oh, okay. Because in my opinion, okay, can I, can I? Yes. Here's what I think makes a great snatch game. You're funny, you have lines to come back to, which you just said, but uh-huh. I noticed it. Uh-huh. You're taking the piss a little, but you're not mean. Mm. So you're not scared mm-hmm. of what the person taking you're doing is. is what they say on Drivers UK. In England. Yeah, means in England. You're yeah. making fun of it. You're making fun of it. And it. one thing that you did is you had physicality. So even when it wasn't about you, the camera was coming to you and you were giving like mm. reactions. Is it stressful? So like stressful. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really daunting experience. It's just, uh, it's quick, it moves fast, mm-hmm. and it's a lot grander than it seems on TV. Um, and it's a whole new way of interacting with Rue that you haven't had Absolutely, before. yeah. Okay. It's, so it's gotta a, be scary. Yeah, so right when, you, right when we sat down, you know, everyone was in it, we were ready to go. Yeah. And it's a lot of pressure and it's scary. And it's such a, you know, it's such an important challenge. So you're like, oh, I gotta do well. It's huge. Yeah, so I remember sitting down and I was like, all right, I'm in character. I'm flipping this hair, I'm brushing it like crazy. I'm gonna give them like all of these little moments because you see that when like, I don't know, like you see people yeah. doing their little B-roll Living moments. in their, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I was like, let me give them all of that. So you immediately just, you immediately see that I'm in the zone and that yeah. I'm Jonathan or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just remember feeling like the questions and the answers were so prepared that what Whatever they were gonna say to me, I had a sentence or two or three prepared. And I, as I was watching it, I was like, these are decorative answers. Oh my God, I do have a type. I am, uh, you know, somebody with a beard that will say, oh, cuddle me and hold me all night, which was like literally a line from a YouTube clip that I was like, Jonathan literally said yeah. that. Or also power drills are on aisle seven or whatever. Like, I don't know where that came that from, was crazy. but it was a line and it was like dense and there was like material in it and Rue loved it. And I remember as we finished Snatch Game, I, I we walked out of the studio or whatever, I was like, oh, I don't know how I felt about that. I just, the whole thing felt really scary and I was really nervous. I think I did okay. I counted how many times Rue laughed and everybody, all the other girls were like, bitch, where did those answers come from? Like, they were like, you did so good. And I like, oh, and I sick. like that affirmation from my queens, the respect from my peers was like, <gasps> I was like on cloud mm-hmm. nine. I was yeah. just like, ah. Well, I noticed, and you know, I noticed from afar via my computer <laughs> that the next day when everyone was getting ready mm-hmm. and everyone was kind of, and there was a lot of people sharing I their opinions of how mm-hmm. it went that possibly wasn't true. Yeah. They did cut to you and you made a joke while you're putting on your makeup and there's just I this, was like, relax, you right? were so relaxed. I was like, I was like oh, she knows she did. It was well. so nice happy. to yeah. see. And I yeah. remember, okay, so I was in ice skates the first day, right? Cursed. And I remember being like, okay, this runway, I wanted to present on skates. 
Right. I almost don't want to in case I have to lip sync or anything happens because that was so devastating to me. But that look without the skates, I think, wouldn't have really like took it there. So, but I was feeling so confident about the challenge. When I did, I was like, I'm wearing these skates and I'm going for it and I'm gonna like do this on the runway. So it was I'm just a nice ruin their floor. period. <laughs> I saw I, I saw think. a meme today of like uh, after Denali like leaves the workroom and it's the SpongeBob fish in the Krusty Krab. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, I live. No, I f I'm so proud of it. And a huge part of that was obviously like our preparation. And, and it was cool to like have that moment happen because I was like, this was in collaboration with a friend. Yay. It was a whole thing. So I'm really yeah. I, I really did have a really sweet moment just mm. watching that with you. And I was like, wow, you, you were just being yourself. Like that is, that is just like the crazy cookie yeah. side that like, people don't get to really see enough of on TV. Like yeah. they get to see like competitive Denali, yeah. ice skater, Denali mm -hmm. zone, but like- You see it come like, out where I'm like, ooh, I wanna fuck lamps, or ooh, a lot of yeah. thought, or whatever. Like I say stupid shit. And even being like, I'm gonna flip yeah. him over and make a Benedict, what does that mean? Yeah. You are Jonathan Chan Ness. Yeah, you were Jonathan Chan Ness. I was Jonathan Chan Ness. Oh my God. I will yeah. say the reception from Queer Eye and all of those members has been oh, really- Oh, now you love really it. Awesome. I love you now. <laughs> Moving on, we have one final person, and let's just touch yeah, on two. Yeah, there's two. Elliot what? and Utica. Oh, um, you just Well, we have one up. final person that I want to talk about. <sighs> But we'll, no. talk, but we'll talk about so Elliot too. Shady. So Elliot was Rue McClanahan, mm -hmm. which Crystal bombed at Drag Race Canada. Oh, I forgot. So that. Elliot said, "I bet I can do that worse," and she did. Is that what she has said? Was it as she's paraphrasing? Was it as rough being there? Because watching it was pretty tough. You know, I actually thought she did okay when she was okay. literally next to me. Again, when you're in in the scope of things, you can kind of have a vibe for how it is, but I was hyper-focused on what I was doing. I remember some things- Brushing your hair. Brushing my fucking hair, and apparently I like whipped her in the face with it. She texted me, she's like, bitch, you kept whipping me the hair with that. And I was like, well, it was human, so. Um, I was gonna ask, it looks, it looks human. <laughs> it was human. It was, it was human, Bob, Bob to drag queen, uh, she was like, that shit looks expensive, your Jonathan wig, and I was like, it was. It was an Amazon wig. Elliot had a few quips in here that I was like, that's kind of cute, that's kind of funny, work bitch. But I also, I don't watch the Golden Girls. I know. I know. Is not Is that okay? I know not yeah. to say, because I'm actually saving that. Okay. I'm saving it too. Like I haven't watched it gone I just, in yet. I just, <laughs> Are but you lying? I, I just no, don't. No, I've seen it, but I gone. haven't like intentionally gone See through that. all of it. I'm ready when y'all are done with this. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Can I say this about Rue McClanahan? Mm -hmm. You know, it feels like a boomer thing, so I just. Ah! <laughs> Can yeah. I say this about Rue McClanahan? Yes. I saw her in Wicked. She played Madame Morrible when she's I saw dead. it. And now she's dead. Mm -hmm. Did you kill her? That we can neither confirm nor deny. Oh, Guys, yeah. cut the cameras. Cut dead ass. Cameras, dead ass. Then we move into our final uh, snitch game, mm. which was Squirrel Friend. Squirrel Friend. Oh, Utica are, as Bob. Okay. Listen, everyone, these are all falling off, so. We're, but they're beautiful, we're, and I'm gonna take we're, them. Three white claws in, and I would like to have my hands back. So no, you this is happening. I'm sorry, Rosalia. I will make it up to you one day, but right now I can't rep for. They're beautiful. I can't rep for the long Spanish nails. Last was Utica. Can so, I be honest? Yes. I just wish she would have said, "I like the squirrel head. I wanted to wear squirrels on my head." Yeah. Instead sure. of the whole fro thing. Sure. I will give my sister some props because it is a difficult platform to enter into and be like, "Okay, Drag Race 2021." Especially when y'all left. Yeah, like so much was going on politically that like, it really was like, we are on this huge platform and we're trying to do our best to maneuver around it as safely and socially aware as possible. Yeah. And so I'll give her props for that. I can't really speak on whether she should or shouldn't wear an Afro. That's not like my right. space. Well, yeah, and I'm not saying like, and also sure. keeping her, like keeping where she comes from in mind. Like she came from, she literally lived in a barn in my yeah. head. That's what I assumed. Yeah. And so everything that's going on, the Black Lives <laughs> Matter protests are kind of resurging mm, and yeah. it's such a huge movement. I appreciated that she took in what was happening around her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in yeah. her limited experience, because yeah. again, she was yeah. living inside of a yeah. barn. Yeah. I love that she said, I'm going to do what I think is, is respectful. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I'm not I trying and shit on her like well, you message. Did. No, what I meant to, what I meant by that was <laughs> I like how kooky she is and I like 
I, I, it almost would have just been better choice. if she was like, this is Utica doing This is doing my bombs. interpretation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the like, brought it up was just, I, We had how yeah. much time in a pandemic? I had all these squirrels. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we didn't even bat an eyelash at it because I was like, yes, that just makes sense for I mean, Ruth brought like up Utica, Utica. Utica. Yeah. of course. Yeah. Of course yeah. you yeah. would do a squirrel headpiece. Like, that makes sense. It was a little bizarre, though, because Gottmik kept saying it, that, like, she watches a lot of Bob Ross. And, like, of course, she doesn't watch Bob Ross. Like, I love Bob Ross. I haven't gotten into that either. Saving that yeah. Yeah. But you've seen mm-hmm. clips, probably. Like Bob Ross does have a very like demure, calming, calming, yeah. calming yeah. Low voice. Energy, and so then, yeah. then uh, Utica was like, "So I like your paint, you see." <laughs> was licking. It was like it was, was a little a car and then sucking on that toxic. It was yeah, that Buffalo toxic? Bill. I don't know. Toxic. So this is one thing I definitely learned about Snatch Game. Can I eat some paint? <laughs> Get out of her ear. Oh, it's COVID. Pre choreographed gags are not always the most successful in improv. Sometimes they won't land because all of a sudden now you're taking a prompt, twisting it, and then making it you're your own. You're trying to so fit like, a circle in a square. Right, so RuPaul is like, mm. you know, That's like. That's great, but what the fuck does it have to right. do with Right, what does what that I have to do with my question? Why are you eating paint all of a sudden, you know? So yeah. that's the only thing where I think that that fell flat. But at the end of the day, I thought, her look was so fun. Mm, and I yeah. also will give her props for literally painting, painting. That's why I was like, I think her focus is more on painting this gorgeous mug than um, yeah. the answers. But at the end of the day, yeah. the material has to be there. The, the, the improv out of all. Right. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and I, I don't know that it can fully say that like you can't have some bits in place. Sure. But you have to have more than one. And just saying over and over that you had, what, what was her joke? It was environment. Environment, uh-huh. yeah, yeah, like I do environments or environmental work or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it just, I love that you took that there, but if it's not playing, where else can you go? Mm-hmm. And if you were playing like kind of the subdued, like mm-hmm. Bob Ross that we actually know, mm-hmm. you could have played into the like, I'm falling asleep, like my voice is putting me to sleep. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Utica, take that note. <laughs> But I will give her props because I thought the look was incredible. I thought that like some of the answers were actually pretty funny. Yeah. And at the end of the day, like Utica as Bob Ross, I think is, is a, a good choice. pairing. Yeah. Utica's anyway, one choice. of those queens that we're always gonna cheer for. Like there's not oh, a yeah. moment where we're like, I love me some Yeah. Things. Yeah. Love, love, mm. love. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was the snap game. That game was the snap game episode. Big episode, yeah. big challenge. So we go into the work room the next day the and you're queen. getting ready for the runway. Yes. And again, like I know we've already said this, but like you were feeling pretty confident. Yeah, you were feeling good. I was like, all right. Were you hearing the girls who did not perform well being confident? Because that was the thing they made clear on the this show. This is also a thing that happens when you're on the show. You don't want to show anybody that you're shaken, right? You do mention, uh, what I'm talking about. you do mention your relationship with your family and your parents <gasps> yes. to drag. Mm. You posted a beautiful picture today of you and your mom. Oh, your mom I was, so you know, gorgeous. when we, gorgeous. I know she is stunning, right? Her cheekbones are gorgeous. Everything about her is gorgeous. But like we, when I realized that that aired, I like messaged her and I was like, hey, like this conversation's happening. I didn't really realize it was happening, but either way, like when you're in that environment and you're just like sleep deprived and everything like that, you know. Does you, she watch you the say show, what you say. Like, when it airs? She is, she's been watching it and she's been so into it and she's been so awesome. Mm-hmm. So I don't particularly feel the same as I did when I was actually there or, or whatnot. It's been but a long time. It has, yeah. it was a long time ago and yeah. she's wonderful and a lot of my drag is inspired by her. So I just wanted to pep her and she was like, oh, it's fine. Yeah. It's TV, it's all good. And uh, even after watching it, she was like, ah, it's fine. My family's been really supportive, but even in those areas when my family couldn't be supportive where they needed more time, mm-hmm. my chosen family filled those ho- those holes for me. Or like the, oh, the wounds, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what? they filled they my filled holes. Oh, okay. yeah, Not, yeah. Uh, your family does a little differently. Eh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, eh, eh, eh. you said something about like moms were reaching out to you and like, mm-hmm. uh, shout out to the moms that watch Drag Race and that mm-hmm. yeah. do come from households so where sweet. the hate cycle has stopped. The hate cycle ended yeah. and they are supporting yeah. their child. Like that is, that is the biggest blessing you can get. Definitely. And I hate my child. Oh. And you know, I well, one of them. I have Shadrach, Meshach, and Dolly and Parton. Oh. So Shadrach. Shadrach, I'm not a big fan of. Yeah. I don't know. But Dolly Parton, I or love because her tits are so big. Oh. So okay. Else should else we get to the runway? I want to talk about these the runways. runways. The fascinator. Mm. Oh, fascinator. I love that idea. Yes. I, love that hat. Yeah. I think actually this was one of the runways that I was like, I'm gonna be diner girl because I did. I did want to present it on skates. It I was. Think. And I was like, how do I get so, it? so cute? Who made that coffee cup? Thing? So the coffee cup headpiece and the 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 whole thing was uh, 3D printed, and it was 3D printed by Grace Duval, the who fu- did. <laughs> 
a lot of like Lucky Stiff's incredible, crazy, yeah, like, right. um, yes. like wearable art moments, you know? Whoa, Remember okay. that tire? That yes. looks yes. Every, And then yeah, Lucky's yeah. drag con look that was like construction. It was like the construction traffic cones, cones, the traffic yeah. cones. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Incredible. Should the monsters they look. Yeah. Yes. 3D printers are the T. You, you can just you create giant, anything. If you, you know? want to donate to a 3D the IMHO printer. Venmo, IMHO we, the show, we, we, we promise, we promise only printer. to make 3D artwork for drag and guns. <gasps> Those are the only two things we're going to make. Oh guns. God. Well, because it can shoot and then you go, I, I didn't print that. You know, like if you ever been to the library and then you print something and it's accidentally porn and then they say, who printed this? And then you go, I was trying to print a gun. I like, Maybe you. I like your librarian's voice. <laughs> Who did this? Who did that? <laughs> Who did that? Aren't you supposed <laughs> You looked amazing. I'm tired, I'm tired of that. You I seem don't so enjoy happy the judging it. Yeah. I don't enjoy this whole, like, I don't costumes. like costumes. Because drag drag. The fuck are drag queens? What drag are drag queens? Are queens? What is it? Yeah. You know, is I think we're in this space now where drag has evolved so heavily that Everyone expects us to be like ready to go on a runway. Well, you know. it's fun to see. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna say I haven't bought into it. Mm -hmm. I adore I like costume, watching. Yeah. watching. I just think it's interesting. Out. Clearly, look. Okay, justice now, for Joey J. If chickens are good enough for tenders, they're, they're good, good enough, enough for fabrics. You're right. Smell it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> smells like Joey's ass wipe. What? Yeah, you heard that, Candy? <laughs> Is that Joey's new merch? You looked amazing, incredible. I love yeah. that you went out yes. on, on roller skates, which is like truly just like a fuck you to Alexis. <laughs> and I love that. Like I love that I you wanted said, to rep the Chicago. No, girl. hers were in line. I wanted to rep for <laughs> the roller, the roller, roller girls. girls. The roller girls because we Alexis did. We oh, did. Alexis was my quarantine queen and we uh, before yeah. things got crazy, like super locked down, we would go roller skating <gasps> when everything we was did. shut down. Because we were like, sweet. let's get outside, let's get some air. Let's um, roller skate. And we would roller skate with her, with her, her the, the queen. queen. Because we did it, you choreographed a number one time with uh, with us that we yeah, performed. Yeah, bang, bang. That was so stressful. That was Because <laughs> I forgot my skates. It was a really good time, and I was like, you know what? How can I bring more skating to the runway? How can I bring more to the yeah. runway? That's so, a good question I ask. Oh. How can I bring skates to the runway? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so inspired by like presentations all the way. The way, the way yeah. that like Brooklyn Heights did her, a reveal. So I was like, let me do the skates. Because at the end of the day, yes, it was a more simple costume or a simple mm -hmm. look. So um, but well it looked done. so cute. Thank and it was hair. presentation. Hair was really? Beautiful. So first of all, Wigs and Grace did incredible. The fascinator and the hair were separate. So I had to get the fascinator into the hair. Oh. And in doing so, it did make the styling kind of fall apart just a little bit. So I'm sorry, Gloria. I tried my best. Oh, I but, thought it looked great. No, it's so look cute. Thank you. Oh, yeah. um, that was a beautiful <laughs> Again, it You were so stressed on. about it when no, it was filming. I was though, watching and like, oh, I was like, my hair looks crazy. But no, um, like the that. fascinator was kind of heavy, so I just had to like maneuver a certain way to like get it into the wig because if I wore right. if I wore it on top of the wig, it would have just completely crushed it and it yeah. would have slipped a lot. So I had to get it literally on my head. But I didn't think that at all. I was watching you. it. I did I think I looked was, really cute. It was you very so pretty. Cute. It was a yes. really good I'm, color. I'm happy with it and I'm proud of yeah. the look in general and the presentation. You so. like a little cartoonish presentation too. Yeah. You like a little cartoony drag, I like do. something that's a little. You know, I like the fuck cartoon. You elevate cartoon. Yes. <laughs> we do know. Oh wait, well, now. Sorry, go ahead. I said you know I like a little cartoon. Who? Okay, number one, number one cartoon that if they came to life, they have sex. Let's do all of ours. Can you back up? It's not about you. It's not about you, bitch. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Cocoum from Pocahontas. I always I was always so confused to why she didn't just stay with him. I would do I would do Johnny Bravo because I can tell that it's very thick. I said what JB stands for. You think so? No. Are you are you sick in the head? Who would you do? <laughs> Aladdin. I mean, Aladdin given. Tarzan as well. Oof. Have you I seen will, that one? I've been getting like that video his, a lot. The scene where he's putting his hands up in it. I would be just, I can. That's, he has big hands. I've been getting big that hands. video a lot. Ever since that conversation aired, the Girl. amount of people <gasps> in my Twitter DMs that are like, uh, have you seen this have one? You, and it'll be like Tarzan literally just like triple fisting like some, I don't even know who it is. It's like the research guy of Tarzan. Oh, I'm good. Oh, Clayton. Clayton. And it's just too much. And I'm like, I can't. I would, That's I would who I would have done for my sweet. yellow runway. Clayton? Uh, no, no, Jane. Uh, Jane in the that cartoon version with the bustle. Oh. And then oh. That was a cute you look. You just gave me that idea. That's a cute look. <laughs> yeah. I actually had wanted to do Marge and I thought that that would have been fun. Marge seems <gasps> Oh, fun. that would have been really but fun. she doesn't actually wear a yellow garment. She wears like right. a like she's green. She is of, just yellow. She's yeah. just yellow. Yeah. And I was like, is this? 
<sighs> no, either way. Okay. Ooh, uh, yeah, wait, ooh. we've all fucked cartoons, right? Okay, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, you got one? Huh? I said no, Hercules I said and Aladdin. Oh, okay. Well, let's do, okay. But shout out to um, uh, Han from, uh, from Shane. Mulan. Shane. Did I say Han? You said no, the Hans. Hans. The I was thinking Hans. The Hans, the Hans yeah, are the bad guys. Oh. Shane. I mean, because although, I love a good chest, and his and chest is just like protruding. Oh yeah. yeah, I was mad at Donny Osmond at the time, so I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> I do love Donny, Donny Osmond. He's no, much more attractive than Clay Aiken. He's fashion the Rosie O'Donnell. We're very drunk. We gotta get through this. Okay, okay I'm let's sorry. do these. Okay, wait, 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 no, no, let's get through the runway. Up first on the runway, we have. My name's from my, nope, Olivia Lux, and she was the Mercury. Oh yeah, yes. she was Dexter's Life. Laboratory. I loved that. I loved it. Oh, really this cool. was. I thought cool. it was such a departure from anything that she's yeah. done before. I thought it was so mm -hmm. cool. I love the way the garment flowed. Again, some like three D printed kind of headpiece. I think it was Abraham mm -hmm. Levy. So impressive. So cute. Uh, no, but Olivia looked incredible. Yeah, amazing. I thought that her color scheme was incredible, and I loved a purple lip. Yeah. It was like deep mm. purple glossy lip, and I was like, "You are." She's just so fucking beautiful. She's she so stunning. good. She's so she's nice so to look at. She's the nicest oh, person in the world. She's one of the closest friends I've had since getting home, and it's because of her authenticity. Mm. She is the one initiating the calls. She is the one that's like, "How are you today, Denali?" And when you have a, a moment and you have a rough time and you have a conversation with her, she sits down, she listens to every word, she dissects it like a true friend, friend, and she really is just oh. like, "I hear you, I see you." It's really oh. impactful and beautiful. That's she really beyond her phenotypical features, she is truly just a beautiful person. Phenotypical. After <laughs> Olivia yeah. was um, um, someone else. I think it was Utica. Utica. So oh, Utica's Utica. fascinator was, was the oh the ant really the really she, cute. I loved it. I thought because first of all she like made it. Alley. She made it again. Yeah. I love a one leg silhouette. I absolutely adore. And she had uh, the picnic basket on her head. She what can, was the arm? She had one arm that was like a cap sleeve, and it was this like gold floral fabric. And then the other arm was more of like a poofed. All the way to the wrist sleeve. Yeah. So again, just like this, like asymmetry. She can pull off little wigs so well. She can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she her got away with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I she's thought she's just so. Yeah, she's also so like flaquita and tiny that everything just looks like really high fashion, mm -hmm. even if it's campy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so no, she looked great. Um, she mm -hmm. looked incredible. And I love the headpiece, the ants that were trailing down, gorgeous. Yeah. And yeah. the hair, like she had the cute hair and then she had a little bit of like blonde, just kind mm -hmm. of like a little surprise mm -hmm. popping out. I just, mm -hmm. I adore you. I was, same. Her, I, I can't believe her picnic basket stayed on her head so well. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that was crazy. Okay. It looked heavy. What people don't realize about fascinators is you actually have to fasten them. And the science behind actually like securing a fascinator on your head. Oh, we're a for Christian drag podcast. We don't believe in science. Oh, my bad. Yeah. The, oh, the, the, um, the John we hated Olivia's it all. <laughs> Up next was... I think, I think Up next, next was be Simone. 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 Okay. Oh, this look, the it's reveal. Stunning. So, I was just... Again, another instance of Simone just coming out and being unapologetic yes. and, and Neon having an amazing message. Yes. She's so goddamn unapologetically black, like... Yeah, how can you not mm. fucking stand her? Yes. Fuck her. She's but cool so good. and confident. Just when you saw the look for the first time, mm -hmm. what was your reaction? Yeah. So she had come to us at the beginning and was like, oh, there's this thing on my like white dress that I have for something later. Do we is, is acetone okay on vinyl? Because it was like vinyl or something like that. And we were all just like, sure. Like we saw the dress, but we didn't know what was the whole package, right? Mm -hmm. And so the first time I saw her was when we actually got in full drag and we were going to the runway and I saw what the whole thing was. And I got chills because I was like, mm -hmm. oh my God, this is going to be monumental. This mm -hmm. is going to be historic. Such an honor to share the stage with her for that moment. Yeah. She is such a brilliant performer, mm -hmm. such a, an activist and just unique and gorgeous and intelligent person. Sometimes the timing of things just work out so perfectly and it was the most brilliant message that could have been done. You know, it was something that you could see in her package when she was preparing. She was like, okay, I have this fascinator look. When you think fascinator, you're like, what? crazy thing has to go in my head. But instead she was a like- A coffee cup. <laughs> instead she was, was like- a mug. I'm a mug. You're right, you're right. I, she a said, pot. I'm gonna put something on my head. It's gonna have a message. And then yeah. the, the stoning that represented the bullets, it was just so yeah. incredible. And the pure white, it, it gives me chills, right? Yeah. It's, I'm, it I'm getting chills. The moment of silence right. when I watched it, mm -hmm. I was like, I, I, I'm gonna take this yeah. in. I'm gonna 
you know, connect with like what mm-hmm. her message and is. And she walked but, out with such reverence. Like even before we read what was on the back, it was beauty. You saw this like yeah, this grace. You were like, what a beautiful silhouette. Yeah. What a beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I love presentations on the runway that are beyond drag. Sometimes that are just artistic presentations. The way that Kim Chi walked down the runway in season eight. She told a story of this mother. You know, when she was presenting her mother and how it was in the humble in yeah. the humble that was mm-hmm. like. She was like, I'm gonna give this um, something very theatrical, something very like subdued, something very um, personal. personal. Yeah. And it was so beautiful to see. It was in the same the same kind of way that it was just like beautiful and yeah. oh, it just transcended drag and drag race, and it was just incredible. So I yeah. forever it was and, the moment. yeah, like, it was I'm so s- incredible. I'm so yeah. forever honored to be on cast with her. I love her. That's all. When you and she really loves nice. your ass. Mm. Feel. Yeah, yeah. I love that girl. Yeah. I love her. And she loves her ass. She likes she my ass. She loves her ass. <laughs> what is on her? What was Tina wearing? She, she was the horse, horse jockey. Horse jockey. Mm-hmm. I don't want us to jump on so hard on the. What do you call that? Just jumpy to me. Yeah. No, what do you call that? The, the train. construction. The, uh-huh, the construction, uh-huh. construction of the garment. Because I think the idea was great, and I assume that there was a probably an elevated version of it. Was the fascinator great? No. Uh, I, uh, no. Yes. No, no, it wasn't. Okay, it good. wasn't. But it did feel like you know those hobby horses oh, yes. that you get at like a cracker barrel. That's with the exactly stick, what it was. And it just they just uh-huh. took that exactly. off. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't mind the outfit. I thought she looked great. I like her as a brunette. We're looking for something nice. I like the color scheme. I don't think we scheme. have to look for something nice because I thought there were moments. There was the red. There was the brown. There was the, yeah. the rose thing. Mm-hmm. Was the super roses cute. were pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, just yeah. think that. She didn't rose to the occasion, oh, and the judges said, nay, okay. Well, let's talk about someone who did rose to the occasion. Rose! rose. rose. Who wore a, a rose fascinator. Uh-huh. Rosita. Rose. Yes. Mm, yeah. More ruffles on the body. Did you see Lala? Why is she hiding her body? Yes, they would have been twinsies. Yeah. 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 It was very sad. We've had so many repeats. I was gagged by it. Now, I agree with Michelle. I have said on this show, Mm -hmm. I don't know if you watch I Am A Joe. I do. I have said on the show. I am a fan. I have said all the cum jokes. I have said publicly, Rosé, we love you. I'm very attracted to you. Oh. But some of the mm. ruffles, some of the ruffles you yeah. lose, and it's exactly what Michelle said. Mm-hmm. Some of the ruffles you lose, but this one was lovely and it was great. It, it all really, worked. Yeah. And it's her name. Yeah. Great. It made so, perfect sense. Yes. I I love. I was at first. I was like, why are there these like punk spikes on it? And then one of the judges, T. S. Madison, was like, I love the thorns. And I was like, the thorns. I didn't thorns. know that either until like, she said. Thorns. Yes. I was like, oh my god. T.S. Madison, How who looked incredible. incredible. T.S. Madison. So good. Thank you. Took the words right out of her. She, she, like, she had to look as good in person. She looked You guys have to be a that blue hair with, with everything. She was the so smile, cute. The makeup, everything. I remember her telling me, you need to wear more stones. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she did. I was in like my diner girl outfit, and she was like, "You need more stones." And I was like, "Okay, whatever you want, whatever you want." To yeah, use she's incredible. She's so fun, and she followed me on Twitter today. <gasps> and oh! I retweeted her on how beautiful she looked in that thing, and she was like, "I love you, girl." Oh, oh, so I love Miss CS. Congrats so, on your new show, by the way, Miss. Yes. yes. Congrats on your yes. talk show. Yeah. Oh. She's just such a, a sweet, and I thought she was a great judge. So I good. thought everything she said, I was she's like, She's a yeah, practical judge, and she's agree. funny, and she's witty, and she's beautiful, and I love yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, she's great. Suck a dick. Suck a dick. I love her. Um, Speaking let's talk of about suck a dick, who are you going to say? Utica, is it Utica? No. Utica's probably done that. Utica. Utica. We already no. talked about Utica. No, we already did that. Oh, we, <laughs> oh, we just talked about Utica. <laughs> Got me. Suck a dick. Got me. Suck a dick, Mick. Get it? Yeah, get it right. And also, how's your head? Not well, bitch, because she had the... Yeah, because she had some... This was... This was a cool safety so pin punk rock. Like, Gomic was like, I finally feel the most myself. And when I say they, you know, they have the signature white face, right? Yeah. yeah. The entire, ep- like, the whole season, we've yet to see it, right? Which because they were great. just adapting to the challenges. Yeah. And that's how great they are. And then finally, he was like, let me just do quintessential me. me. And it was like, white face, punk rock. Michelle, at one point, was like, this is very, like... Vintage London punk chic, and I loved it. And I was like, "That's such a cool way to describe this." Yeah, it was just like safety pins. And then wait, wait, wait. People didn't re- recognize it's a fascinator challenge. Mick wore a fascinator. <gasps> you fasten head. things to your bodice oh, with a safety oh, pin. Fascinator. He fastened. Oh, a f a s. He pulled a fast one on us. Right? That was so brilliant. And then that like little prick of blood that was rhinestone and straw. That looked like a ball sack. So pretty. Loved. So cool. The entire look from start to finish. And I love 
I love when the judges break a little. Mm -hmm. They break from the whole production yeah. thing of hiding how they feel, mm -hmm. and they go, oh, mm -hmm. "Wow, mm -hmm. yeah, that's cool." And I mean, he's done that so many times on the runway because I love his like, runways. His are runways are <laughs> too good, Nancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I love yeah. Mick. I love yeah. him so much. Uh, loved Mick from Got Mick to Elliot with two T's and no lips. Oh. Is she now? This show Are is you just It's changed I think that every fucking week. And you're gonna laugh? I know. I am a and you're gonna and laugh? And this is wait, 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 dark wait, wait, wait. mode. Oh, Elliot wait, wait, with no wait, wait. lips. I'm gonna this is crazy. crazy. Are you gonna laugh about it? Oh, I'm She's getting... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's crazy. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh my god. I'm sorry, Elliot. Those were some small lips. I loved the headpiece. You know, I think she was going for, let me avant-garde this a bit. Let mm. me give them something they haven't yeah. gone for. That look was okay. insane. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry. The nude oh. illusion yeah. that was also like a the flare. Yep. It was I'm sorry. It was in no, no, no. Like at the end of the day, yes, it was not her finest look. At the end but of the day, yes, I think it was what mean. was what was tough to see was her presentation on the runway. Because if you'd have worn that and you'd have come out and be like, "Bitch, I own I this," the word you know what I'm saying? Really think that the headpiece was cool. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying like I think her makeup was great. I loved the hair. Like I think I saw the idea behind it, uh -huh. and that's fine if you have that. But like, then come in and be like, "Well, oh, this isn't huh. exactly what I wanted." Denali, look, yeah. you're making this happen. You're, you're starting. It. You're starting. That's you're starting. how you are. I know. The it boat. just, it was, if I ever it was get on not great. Show, my entrance look is just going <laughs> You walk in. Ha! Come. Okay, but here's the thing. She looked so defeated. I just That's had empathy for her. Thing. I was like, yeah. I feel so. They're so mamona. Like, That's I was how like, I, felt. I want her to. I, I don't want anyone to feel what she was feeling, you know? Yeah. It was hard watching her walk that run because I, I could see her presentation was different and there was just not a. There wasn't a confidence about yeah. it. So it broke my heart a little bit. It hurt. At the end of the day, Again, I didn't even realize it was a flamingo until the judges had mentioned it too. Yeah, mm. same. But when that no happened, idea. I was like, "Oh, okay, I kind of see that." I think if I had just if the the sleeves had been more form fitting on both ends of the others, agreed. I think it could have taken it in a different direction. Agreed. Yeah. But it looked unfinished. No, yeah. you know. Yeah. So that's the only thing about it. But oh well, that it was hard to watch because I was like, "I feel you." I, I understand. But it's been a while since we've seen someone go out in a look that didn't seem finished. Like I feel like Drag Race is rising to a level that we see who yeah no i'm i'm just I who feel bad it? now who? don't don't feel bad no i'm Girl, not i'm not thinking of a new one i'm just don't want to be the mean one. now i'm you are the mean one. Well, you <laughs> but i'm, I'm just <laughs> no. saying you're that, the mean like, one. you called her a no lip bitch <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes. up next we had Candy Muse. Oh, candy. Oh, candy Muse. Candy. You know what? This was a Gaga reference. Did you know oh, that? Oh, was it? Oh. Yeah. It was a Gaga reference. It looked well, like I was Gaga reference. for it because I loved the ruffles. I yeah. loved that she had the feathers that said Muse. Mm -hmm. Loved it. I, I love the makeup of this look. I oh, thought yeah. it went yeah. really well her with the Her makeup was really good. It was yeah. really high fashion. In general. Candy does not get enough uh, credit for her makeup. Her makeup's actually really, really clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I love great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't fully, once I saw it up close, mm. seeing the like the feathers and then the print of the hound's tooth didn't make a lot of sense to me, but from a distance, it was very striking. Mm. She, like when she said I was on a runway, I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. I would watch that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she always, I don't remember who we said it about before, she always looks like she's coming from a fashion runway. Yeah. Uh, going yeah. On Candy's very way. fashionable. Yeah. She's yeah, got a good I team agree. around her and she's really presents things super and confidently. Charming all the time she's so she's charming so i know so she's charming. perfect for the tv she's so great she's yeah. great tv mm -hmm. great internet up great next. internet great internet up next. i think that's we it. did it that's it yeah oh no we did it thing. okay mm -hmm. wonderful the winner obviously without any hesitation whatsoever uh, yeah. was got mick oh i think so got got what a stellar so week good. yeah yeah got mick was got mick. incredible the challenge i don't know how did got mick got mick looked like so proud. So proud. You know what's funny? A little intel. He came out of the studio after it finished and was like, I think I bombed. And was like, <gasps> yeah. She was fully like, like, I just did not enjoy my, I just didn't, I didn't think I did enough. She has this thing where she always says like, I need to be the loudest voice in the room, you know? Mm. And she didn't feel like in that moment she was the loudest because Paris is kind of like, nah, 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 yeah, yeah, or whatever. But she wasn't feeling that confident. All of us were like, shut up, you did great, whatever, you were fine. So it was interesting because I think to get the win, even after feeling like that, was like even more validating, yeah. you know? He deserved it so much because beyond that, I've never seen a transformation in Snatch Game that 
good oh, in terms oh. of the makeup. Like truly yeah. looked like Paris Hilton. Mm, that yeah. was spooky. although although your JVN. Oh. I'm not saying that because you're here. Your JVN was good. The picture today, I double taked. Oh stop. Oh, do you have the matter I double taped, and it turns out I, I was looking at a picture of JVN. Drunk, so, but then I scrolled past good. and I saw you. Alexa, you ain't gonna. Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know <laughs> You've written kind of the safe line for a while. Uh -huh. Did it feel good to be? It felt so good to be in the top in the two most important, two of the most important challenges in RuPaul's Drag Race: Rusical and Snatch Game. Yeah, I was very proud of myself for those moments. Oh. And after you got those positive reinforcements mm -hmm. and you went back, mm -hmm. were you just like, oh, fuck? Yeah, especially because in Rusical I was paired with Got Mixed, so we could be like, oh, okay, it was, maybe you guys both did well together, but now it was like, you did well on your own, bitch. And it was in the Snatch Gang. You yeah. Know? So I was really proud of myself. I was like, oh. I was sitting back there just like, I was so relieved <laughs> when I started watching it and when the Snatch Game started uh -huh. and you immediately made yeah. me giggle. I was Aww. like, okay, good. I know, I think all of Chicago was like, oh my god, Same. because yeah. I bombed my first acting challenge, yeah. so they were probably like, oh, she's gonna be terrible. Now you did, you did bomb I that. Did. But this was so good. Like, Dang, yo. I'm, I'm happy that you have this yeah. this le legend, no, not legend. They give you your kudos on the big challenges too. Like they say, oh, you're a star, you Oh, this that was challenge. so sweet. Yeah. It was yeah. really cool to hear that, and I'm really proud of, I'm really proud of that. Good. Like, to be in the top for Snatch Game is a big deal, so. It is a big deal, it's a very big deal. Thank you. And good job to you. Wood comedy Jeff. queen. Yes, Chan. and yes, and. Yes. Yes, and yes. Let's Chan. all, yes, yes, and. Yes, and. Yes, Chan, Chan. yes, Chan. Yes, Chan, yes, Chan. Yes, Chan, yes, Chan. Ah, oh, it would have ended that Jonathan well. Jonathan Chan, yes. Yes. Then we get to the bottom two, mm. which is Utica, Utica and Elliot with two Ts. Mm. Now, Utica is not, and, and she said that, that she's not a confident lip syncer when mm. she's up to the dancer. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of queens sometimes say that they're dancers and they may be technically, but are yeah. they entertainers? Ah, and that's ooh. where I think there was a difference. Yeah. There was a divide because Utica was so fucking fun yeah. to watch. Well, you said Ellie, this about she looked well. like she was having fun. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you said this about Utica before is she may not be a dancer, but she knows how to move her body yeah. in yeah. her way. She's like, okay, my body yeah. is very long. When I think move my hand, it's gonna take a while to get there mm. because of the length of my arm. Mm. Yeah. And she knows how to play into that. Whereas Elliot, was Elliot dancing technically correctly? Yes. Was it entertaining? No, because she wasn't considering that. Yes. So yes. from the behind, from mm -hmm. the, like oh. you're the top, from the behind. Within 30 seconds we knew. Yeah. Yeah. She was, Utica oh. was mesmerizing. I couldn't take my yeah. eyes off of her. Song choice is a huge thing about Drag Race that for future girls that are getting on the show, embodying songs in whatever aspect that you can is like so imperative. Right. When I heard that this lip sync was happening and I'm fascinated, I was like, ooh, I better not beat the bottom because I honestly am not sure how I would present this. I might have presented it maybe similar to Elliot where I was like, dum, 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 dum. but Utica what was, was like, similar to what? Dum, 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 oh, dum, yeah. Dum, you know, mm -hmm. but Utica was just sexy. Her body shape is just so good for this like, like yeah. lanky, so wavy kind of like but also gorgeous funny movement. and like uh -huh. fun to watch. Yeah. It was a great lip sync. I'm so proud of her and I, I really couldn't take my eyes off of her. It was mesmerizing. So mm -hmm. Elliot gets sent home and then where do y'all go? Y'all don't see them ever again, right? No. Goodbye, Elliot. Yeah. Hello, Utica. We're so happy you're mm, still there. Yes. Can I, I, I just want to say Utica has such a strange energy. Like when she found out she was saved, from the camera, it, it, it kind of seemed like, oh great, I'm just gonna walk back here. Not like, oh, thank you. She, She's got like a weird energy that I don't, it I was like a, it was like It was like a Scarlet en Envy energy when she was told that she was safe from that like six way lip sync in, in season uh, 11 and oh she bolted, she God. sprinted. Oh, Remember she was like, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, it was very that. This entire episode, I could not be, in, like, be more proud of you. Aww. Like it was so, Weren't you relieved as a Chicago queen to watch? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know that I just felt like we're biased, but we're, you're making our job easy. Thank yeah, you. you really are because yeah. we do not want to have to put someone in our thumbnail that we don't like. <sighs> that was the end of the episode. Ooh. We couldn't be more proud of you. We're Thank so you. excited that this jacket feels expensive. We do like to check in with people. We did have yes. Abby sitting right yes. here the entire time, yes. but they had to leave because um, food. Because food. They, they had to get it. They had to get it. Drag? B day dinner. They oh, really? drag for what? For this next segment that we're about. To oh yeah, we're doing it. Yeah, the uh, next segment. Uh, 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 so we're calling them live. Oh, yes. hello, Ozzy. Well, let me check oh, out your piece oh, real oh, quick. Oh. Hello, 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 hello. Down the street. How is Abby? What is your birthday? 
Well, Abhiji, how are you? Oh. Oh my god, hi besties. In case it wasn't clear, my name's Abhiji, and I'm so excited to be on IMHO today. For those of you that don't know me, I am the seven foot tall Bollywood Barbie of Chicago, and I'm so fucking excited. How am I doing? Ordinarily, I would say that I'm doing great. It's sunny outside, it's almost springtime, winter is over. But, I did a BuzzFeed quiz for what IMHO doll are you, and I got Darby. Darby. How do you think I'm doing? I'm doing awful. I'm nothing like Darby. First of all, my name doesn't rhyme with Arby. I mean, I guess Abby does kind of rhyme with that. But that doesn't mean I'm mean and evil. Okay, I, I, I see what you mean. I am Darby. I'm doing great now. Thanks. Abby, hello. I'm listening on both of my ears. I just saw you on my couch, but but I love technology. <laughs> what have you been up to in your quarn in your quarantine? I can't believe that it's almost been one full year of the pandemic in the US. The last thing that I did before everything shut down was my birthday party. It has been one full year since that happened. That's like absolutely insane. Just like every other drag queen, I started off quarantine dancing in my living room recording it on my phone and putting it online to like make a little bit of money. But since then, I've started like a whole new project that I'm really, really, really excited for and it's been doing really well. I am actually a really good cook. Like, okay, I don't mean to brag, but like I can make really, really good food. So um, I was talking to my mom about how I was worried about how to make money in a pandemic. Everything's still shut down. I don't know what to do. And she was like, why don't you just cook for people? Why didn't I think of that? That's literally genius. So I started Abhijit's Tiffin Box. It's kind of like Kiki's delivery service, except I'm the cute anime girl. And instead of a broomstick, I ride around my friend's car giving people food. Every week I cook a different kind of regional Indian food. And then I post it online and a bunch of strangers give me money to give them food. It's great. It's very delicious. You should try it. Wait, okay, okay. Abby, what's a drag project that you're excited about coming up? Ooh, okay. I know I use the word excited a lot. I'm a very excitable person. It's very easy to excite me. Just say anything and I will be excited. But uh, I'm collaborating with a friend of mine who is a classical Indian dancer in Chicago. We submitted a proposal to the Chicago Dance Makers Forum and we got a grant to make a mini series that combines drag with classical Indian dance. It's gonna be really cool because we're working with Transit who produced Denali's Chicago Drag Excellence video. So you already know, it's gonna look freaking great. Wait, I like how this moves. Yeah, that's fun. Hey, what's your favorite dish to prepare? Oh Besides God. yourself, you dish. Oh. Uh, woo, a shut up. Up. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite food to eat are samosas. My least favorite food to cook are samosas. The week that I did samosas on my Tiffin box, I had to make 150 samosas with my hands. It was exhausting. I never want to do that again. My favorite dish to prepare are Mumbai street style sandwiches. I know that sounds really lame, but it's three layers of bread with a spicy green chutney, potatoes, tomatoes, beets, capsicum. Wait, y'all don't call it capsicum. Bell pepper, onions, um, other stuff spice mixes and then it's like grilled with like a whole bunch of butter and oh my god it's so good but it takes so much time to make that it only make it for very very special people so if i've fed you that you know i love you and if i haven't fed you that take notes bitch abby where can we find you on social media how can we tip you how can we support the abby g business mm. if you're in chicago you can literally find me anywhere you can't miss me. I'm always doing something around outside. You'll see me. On the internet, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and most importantly, on Venmo at B-O-N underscore A-B-H-I-J-E-E-T. That's Bon underscore Abhijit. Get it? Because I like food. And if you don't have Venmo, just DM me. We'll figure out a way for you to tip me. I can't wait to watch this video and see how they edit me. If I look bad, they made me the villain. It was an edit. Don't believe them. But if I look good, that was all me. Bye.
Oh, oh, goodbye, Avi. We love you. I love you. Well, and thank you so much. And happy oh, yeah, birthday. That is their food. Well, we got to, everyone, go ahead and take. Oh, oh I've already eaten one take tonight. A I can't. Oh, okay. Well, well, I'm doing I've got gloss on, but I'm going to have go a little bit of this. No, we got to see what this is so about. It's filled with vegetables. It's so good. Mm. Um, well, now, don't eat all of them because that is my, I'm saving those ones for later. Now, before we go, we do, we have. Well, before we, oh, before you talk, I do have to say. Now, you said something that reminded me. When we were in the elevator, Mm. I was bringing her up, and we had a man oh, in our elevator with a dog. Mm. And <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I dog, am gonna be the mean one after the that. dog was so nice, and I was like, "Oh my god, your dog is so cute! What's his name?" Mm. And then he goes, "Karma." <laughs> and then do you know what Alexa said to this complete say? stranger? Oh, is that because she's a bitch? Mm. No, I didn't say it like that. I said, "Oh, because she's a bitch." Oh, a she's female a dog. Bitch. Mm. To a stranger. What did he say? He's the one that named nothing. his dog Karma. There's like so nothing. many things you can say. No, that's even right. worse. Oh, because she nothing. catches up. Not even a chuckle? Nothing. <gasps> so now I have to move. And I just wanted the people to know that. <laughs> Alright, go ahead. What did you have to say? <laughs> you have other dogs you want to roast? What about JB? Is JB a bitch? That's funny. <laughs> I did regret it instantly after <laughs> I said it. Look, I haven't talked to strangers in a mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was going to do our Olivia Lux personal, mini personal achievement award for excellence in the field. It goes to karma because we it goes owe to her karma. That. It yeah. goes to karma. Sorry, baby. <laughs> Sorry, karma. Sorry, bitch. We love you, bitch. <laughs> You're a bitch. I'm never going to stop loving love you, bitch. bitch. <laughs> so, you know. we are, we have been filming for no, about look. eight hours. He was a straight man. He deserves it. How do you know he was straight? Oh my god. Oh my god. He got a Cubs hat. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. We're not gonna do our usual oh. sign out because there are, uh, we're drunk. We've been here for we're like eight, eight hours. Now. Follow us on things, <gasps> go to our Patreon, do all of that. <laughs> we will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Denali, we mm, love thank you. you. Thank you for being on Thank you for having me. It's such an honor and pleasure. I love IMHO. Please like, please subscribe. <gasps> These are my people, and I love them so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Do you want to tell them where we can find you? You should do your own. Story. Yeah, you can Everyone find me find at Denali, Denali Fox. Google That's it. That's D-N-I-L-I-F-O-X-X with two X's on everything but Twitter. Twitter's one X because they hate me. And I had a DMCA. And what about Grinder? Grinder, I'll have it. Oh, she's a lady. Happy. Because I'm a lady. Cause I'm happy. Because I'm happy. Okay. Cause I'm icy. Do that, icy. and we will see you uh, next week. Corporate the ghost woman get a little pricey. Strong like a Megatron, long like a marathon. A K to Babylon. I'm a phenomenon. I'm a gay ass bitch. I'm Joey J. I am confused though. A K to Babylon, Arkansas. I thought from Alaska. A K is Alaska. Arkansas is A R. Ooh. Get your letters right. Come on, Ellie with no lips. Denali. Yay! Yay! Denali, everyone! Denali. Denali Fox! Hello, beautiful ladies! Why are we here? Where are- oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we here? We are going to ice skate today at my workplace. This is McFetridge Ice Rink in Irving Park. I am so honored and blessed to have you guys here. I cannot wait to get on this ice. You have no idea. You teach. I do teach. Children. Yes, out of geese, teach children? I teach. You teach, I do teach people who have never skated before? I teach babies, teens, okay, old good. people, okay. old men and wigs. Old men and wigs. Really? Yeah. Look at us Good news. Here. So what are we going to learn today? Today, we're Triple probably, axle. we'll probably just learn how to like, honestly stay afloat. Okay. And stay upright. They're swimming. There's that water in there. the dream yeah, and the goal. Underneath all of this is 10 feet of ice cold water. So. Okay. It's concrete. We are going to do our best. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to try okay. and stay upright as well as we can, especially Dixie. It's a long way to fall. Okay, let's do it. Okay, well, Dixie Lynn upright. Dixie Lynn upright is the goal. Chan will need this. Is this walker okay? I think so. It's missing some teeth. Let's learn a pinwheel. <laughs> okay, so I will be the base because it's the strongest. And then we're all going to link arms like this. And everybody's just going to kind of walk forward in a circle. And we're gonna have a, like a little pinwheel moment going on. Okay, here we go. Ah! <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna link to Chan here. And now we're gonna go this way. Okay. And Alexis is gonna be on the end. Okay, everyone, tense up. Uh huh. Keep pulling, keep pushing, Alexis. There you go. We're doing a pinwheel. No, so fast. We're doing a pinwheel. Oh, oh fuck, oh fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh her, let her go. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. I'm over here. I got you. I got you. <laughs> now take me there. Did we go all the way around? Sure, yeah. It ended really? in disaster. <laughs>